Good morning, this is Mark Millette coming to you from Bucharest, Romania with Morning Mana. This on this song. I thank the Lord for every remembrance of you. I pray you along for His purpose in all you do. That you may know how far, how wide, that you may know how deep, how high is the Father's love for you and that He'll always see you through. This is my prayer for you that you may know Him. This is my prayer for you that you may grow in Him, love Him. Trust Him and place no one above Him. This is my prayer. This is my prayer for you. I'd like to continue on with you with a study we made yesterday or last Friday. And today uh, we like to study again in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 about healing in the body or the broken body of our Lord. Now listen to what he says in verses 28. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 28. But let every man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread. Now here we go back to the bread again. And drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily. And like I said, when I first seen this, in the Romanian it says, in an unworthy manner. So it wasn't uh, the person himself being unworthy, because nobody's worthy outside of Christ. Amen. And now, I'm not saying, and I'm not suggesting you can take the Lord's Supper and have sin in your life, but it's not natural. It's not normal for a child of God to live in sin because you don't have a sin nature, a da Adamic nature. Now, you do have a flesh, but the old man has been crucified with Christ. And the Bible tells me that we have a divine nature according to 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 4. You don't have two dogs in you. If you've got a dog, you need to go to the dog catcher and ask him to shoot one of the dogs in you. Amen? And I hope it's the black dog if you keep the white dog in you. But no dogs are going to heaven and Jesus didn't have any dogs in him. And I'm in Christ and he's in me and he's not in there with a bunch of dogs. Amen? The Bible says we're sealed with the Holy Ghost until the day of redemption. I have the Holy Spirit living in my spirit and I have a divine nature. That nature will not let me or lead me to live in sin. So when I come to the Lord's table, which is for God's children, you remember the lady and came one day and said to the Lord, she said, she told the disciples, she said, Lord, uh, tell, tell the master, give me, some, give me some of that bread. He came to her and he says, it's not right for us to give the children's bread to the dogs. Now he was talking to her because she was a Syrophoenician woman. And the Bible says that anybody that wasn't a Jew was a dog, a Gentile dog. And she says, yes, Lord, but... Now, remember, she was coming for healing for her daughter. Listen to me. The bread or the broken body of our Lord has healing in it. And it started back in, uh, as far as I can understand, in the book of Exodus chapter 12 when they ate that lamb and they came out of Egypt and they went 40 years without any of them getting sick. Are you listening? Or any diseases on them. Because they lived under that covenant. We have a better covenant. I don't think it's right for God's people to go around here and live. Every time you get a little pain, you run to the doctor, a little something sick with you. Everybody's on all this kind of medication and stuff. I'm not being critical. I'm just showing you a way out. God has prepared and made a way for the church to be healthy. And this scripture says, For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep or dead. But if you go the other way and discern the Lord's body, that there's healing in Christ. He said, well, Brother Martin, we've always been taught that it's, that's the healing is just in the spiritual. Okay, that's all you need is spiritual? Good. Go to the doctor and spend all your money. Let him patch you up and put uh, different hearts in you and different kidneys in you and different lungs in you and all that other stuff. Go ahead. But I'm telling you, God's people, he wants you to be made whole, not only financially and physically and mentally and spiritually, but in every area of your life, in your marriage, in your home, he wants you to be whole. To have an abundant life, not a patched up life. Amen? If any sick among you, let them call on the elders of the church. I had one fellow tell me, 
He said, Brother Martin, he said, I believe that, but if I do that, what, what are the elders, what are the, what are the deacons going to say? Who cares what the deacons say? What does God say in his word? Amen. Just obey the Lord. Who are you trying to accept? Who you want the acceptance with? God or man? Just a question. He said, if I did that, they'll kick me out of church. Good. Come on over here with me. We'll preach the gospel together. Amen. Over here in Romania. Now, this is what he says, and I'm closing with this. So he said, if you take this and don't discern the Lord's body, what's that mean? It means that God is looking for a way, so if you cross that spiritual line, he's going to let you, let you have it? No. It means that it doesn't profit you anything. You can take the Lord's the body all day long, the bread and, and the wine or the juice. Or, and then if people get in a big fight about, well, it's supposed to be unleavened bread because the Lord didn't have any sin. But when he was on the cross, he became our sin, so now it's okay to take bread, regular bread with leaven. Listen, he's not caring about the substance of that little piece of bread. Listen to me. It's what it represents. It's a symbol. It's a, it's a, a divine shadow of what Christ did for us when he broke his body. His body was broken for you. Amen? So I just want you to learn that. So we need to discern the Lord's body. And once you start discerning that through his precious blood you were redeemed, your sins were forgiven, you were made righteous. You're not just an old sinner saved by grace. You're a son of God. And you've got more authority than any angel than the devil does if you'll wake up and believe the word of God instead of religion. And I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? And the Lord Jesus bless you. Amen.